my name is Jason Burns, and on behalf of the, Lara and the entire Burns team at Keller Williams International, we're thrilled to welcome you to our deep dive video of our newest listing here in La Cunada Flintridge. Before we climb into the home, I want to show you that we've got additional parking out here that can fit three or four home, uh, cars uh, as you're having guests over. So this beautiful hillside property with incredible views is at 1945 Hilldale Drive. So we've got a great two, two car garage here, and then we're gonna go down about five brick steps into this lovely home. Our clients have been here for more than 40 years. You've got a lovely um, outdoor exterior patio as you walk in. Um, and then let's go in the front door and I can tell you more about what, it, what exactly we're doing as we walk, walk into this home. So um, what is a deep dive video? So over the last, since COVID-19 hit about seven months ago, we decided that you as a potential buyer of this property might not feel totally comfortable coming and seeing this property in person. So what we decided to do is do these deep dive videos. We know all the data shows that most people like to look at videos for about one to two minutes. Well, we're doing these deep dive videos to do a little more detailed information walkthrough of the home. So it'll probably be 10 to 15 minutes as we walk through because for those who may have been COVID, who may be uh, health compromised, you still may have a need to find a new place. So this allows you to see the property in as much detail. So we've just come into this uh, beautiful entryway. As we come through, you can scroll down and you can see the terracotta tile that extends. We've got a full bathroom off the um, entryway here. So you do have a step-in shower here. You've got a single sink, a toilet, and you've got this terracotta tile that is uh, in the entryway in this uh, front bathroom. So as we come through, there is a ton of space downstairs. We have more than 2,500 square feet here in uh, this beautiful home in La Cunada. So as we come in here, we, we're in the kitchen. So many things to point out. So we've got solid oak cabinets. We've got a uh, oak um, wine bottle rack. You've got the beveled leaded glass here uh, for the cabinets. This tile is, as I understand it, a French Blanc de Blanc French tile and then you've got the backsplash as well with this beautiful French tile. You've got a wonderful little breakfast area here. Um, so you, there is a formal dining room, but if you're having people over or your family just wants to sit and eat here, we do have some recessed lighting in the kitchen. You do have some spotlight lighting here on the cabinets. Um, great space. Um, again, the terracotta tile gets extended into the kitchen here. You've got the Kohler sinks here. Beautiful Kohler sinks. You've got a nice little, lots of counter space here. You do have uh, the stainless steel Bosch dishwasher here. And as we scroll over here, you've got a Sub-Zero fridge. This is about a year and a half old. So great shape, um, lots of space. This is not built in, but great spot for the LG microwave here. You've got the um, stovetop five burner gas with the stainless steel hood here. So great space for cooking, great space for entertaining. On this side, you've got the KitchenAid double ovens. Um, this was put in about four years ago, as I understand. I love the blue inside, so um, if you've captured that. So um, beautiful double oven. And then you've got a great size pantry here. We've got some stuff in here, but um, so you've got a good size pantry. That's basically under the staircase. So again, great L-shaped kitchen, but it's more than just sort of a galley kitchen. You do have a little vegetable sink here. Um, again, beautiful tile. You've got the butcher block uh, counter right here. So great shape. Um, brush nickel knobs as you come through. There's a ooh, pocket door as we come through into the dining room. As we come into the dining room, again, you can see the beautiful leaded glass, stained glass um, for the um, cabinets here. You've got the Pagan Groove hardwood floors, um, both here and in the living room. You've got crown molding around. There are three different um, beveled stained glass windows. There's one here in the uh, dining room. We've got one in the living room that we'll show you. And then we've also got one in the master, master bedroom. So this is a great indoor outdoor feel. One of the things to point out, we, let's be honest, we are a little bit close to the freeway here. When you're in the home, you don't hear the noise at all. They have done so much both in the construction and the windows to make sure that it's a peaceful place. You are enjoying this home. I don't hear anything when I'm in here. So you've got this access point to this brick patio on the side. So someone can certainly uh, barbecue out here. Um, and then we, we go into the living room. Beautiful living room, again, Lovely brick fireplace, wood burning fireplace. You do have the crown molding in the in the room. You do have the base molding that you can see here. Um, again, another one of these stained glass 
beveled uh, glass windows here with a um, light that sort of shines on that. So you've got nice light uh, window treatments here. You've got several spaces that uh, open up to the outdoor space. You saw the one to the brick patio. You've got this great uh, outdoor patio. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time out here now, but you do see incredible views. We're looking out towards um, Glendale, toward over this way, downtown LA. It's a little bit of a foggy day, but it's a beautiful space to spend your time eating outside, gathering, having your coffee, reading your paper. Um, you do have these posts. They ended up thinking that they were going to put a pergola. They never did out here. Um, so we just, we do have this table and chairs with the umbrella. Um, someone can put a little pergola there if you want. So again, great indoor outdoor space. So we're going to hop back in here to the living room. It's a great size. Again, you got the same peg and groove hardwood floors in, in the living room as you do in the uh, dining room. So what we're going to do, we're now going to go into the family room. The family room was added in 1986, I believe. So they did a major amount of uh, construction in 1986. They wanted, this was a porch as I understand it, and they pushed out to do this. So again, this is another access point to the outdoor, this patio where we can spend time. Uh, beautiful carpet in here, huge window. So you've got lots of natural light. You're set above, so you don't really have anyone looking in. You're just sort of looking out upon uh, the city of Glendale and Montrose and things like that. Um, it's a great space. You do have a custom brick fireplace with beautiful woodwork around. You've got the recessed lighting in here above it. Um, but again, a great space. You can sit here. Uh, Again, this is a wonderful space for gathering with family, gathering with friends, just sort of entertaining, and you've got the natural light. You do have these multi-pane uh, glass doors that open on both sides, both into the living room and then here into the um, kitchen and hallway. Off, off the family room here, you do have the washer dryer. Um, you've got laminate floor and some of the original cabinets. Um, so again, laundry room on this floor, you've got a sink. Great space for folding, um, great space for storing stuff in here. So again, very thoughtfully designed. So again, you've downstairs you've got a living room, a family room, a patio, you've got a little brick deck, you've got a front patio, great, great house for entertaining. You've got lots of parking outside. Um, you do have central heat and air. There is a dual zone heating and air conditioning system. There's one on this level and there's one upstairs. So we're gonna go upstairs where you have three bedrooms and you have two bathrooms. Again, you've got the carbon monoxide detector, so uh, let's race on upstairs to the bedrooms. So here we go as we're climbing up the carpeted stairs. In 1986 when they did the construction. Okay, before we do that, off the hallway you've got the linen closet, so good, good storage space up here. Um, in 1986 when they pushed out um, and, and closed the family room, they also pushed out this room. So as I understand it, the wall was here, um, so they added this space. Great little space, so again, a kid's, a child's room, a guest room, um, you've got a great little space here. You do have two closets. You've got the one closet there, and then you've got the mirrored closets over here. So very good storage. Again, views, views, views. Looking out to Glendale, looking out over Montrose, great space. They do have the base molding in here. You've got another window on this side. Uh, so this is one great size bedroom. Bedroom number one upstairs. We're gonna now go to bedroom number two. You do have the mirrored doors here. Again, for the closet, you've got great closet space. Back over here, you have another spot which could easily be a space for another desk or just sort of a sitting area as we've created it. Um, you've got a new light here and then you've got another space here. Um, you could do closet space, you can do, we've obviously created a desk with the at home order where people, where kids are studying from home. Great space where kids are studying from home. Again, it's nice, we're mid-October and we've got the air conditioning going so we're staying nice and cool. Again, great space. Now we're going to go to the hall bathroom before we go into the master. So, in the hall bathroom you do have a full bath. You've got the granite, um, this granite sink here, uh, mirror, you've got a medicine cabinet here. Um, so, and then you've got a full tub and shower. So good space. 
So this bathroom services the two bedrooms off the hall, but again, you do have an additional shower downstairs as, as right off the entryway. And then you get to come into the master. I love this master. Again, you feel the, all the natural light that once you're in here. Again, this is where they extended. You've got the family room below, and then they've got this great space. Desk space, sitting area space, views, views, views. This is one of those houses that's just Again, you're gonna love the views, and it feels very private. It feels very peaceful up here. You feel like you're in a little bit of a treetop. So you've got the beautiful closet in here, the cedar line closet. Um, you've got shelving on one side and clothes hanging. This is not the main closet, so that would probably be my closet, whereas Laura would get the main walk-in closet. So the you've got a brick burning, wood burning fireplace. This is the same flue and chimney from downstairs in the living room. So it goes all the way up. Um, in good working order. Um, again, as I'm here, I don't hear any noise. It's very, the construction was done. Um, again, I can give you more details about the specific construction, but they designed it in a way where it would soundproof this house, soundproof this room, where you wouldn't really feel anything. You've got the double paned windows, or dual glazed windows. Um, again, you've got the crown molding in here. This is one of the other um, stained glass mirrored windows um, that they had fun. Uh, put in a number of years ago. So some of those personal touches. Um, again, great space. Sitting area in front of the fireplace. You've got a desk area. You've got a king size bed. Great space. Now we're going to go into the bathroom. This was redone about 20 years ago. So you've got a single sink. Good cabinets underneath. You do have a nice uh, good size sink uh, soaking tub with the um, beautiful brass um, brass knobs. You do have a little shower where you can, if you're taking a bath, you can rinse off with that here. Um, you've got the privacy window here, and then you do have the nice shower, um, tiled shower, um, step in, you've got a little seat inside. Um, so bit, lots of space here. And then you've got a nice walk-in closet. There may be a light here somewhere. Um, there you go, it's automatic, even better. So an automatic light, you've got lots of shelving, you've got lots of um, just great closet space. So again, beautiful tile flooring as we pan back out as we're moving from the bathroom back into the master bedroom. So again, I just love this space here. You feel like you're sort of in a tree house by the brick fireplace. Let, let me summarize. So this home has been in the same owners, uh, same, been owned by the same family for about 40 years here in Locking Out of Flintridge. Again, we're priced at just under a million two fifty. There's over 2,500 square feet. I'm not sure you're going to find many homes in Locking Out of Flintridge for around 500 price per square foot in this shape with this kind of views. It's really a lovely property. It's a great opportunity. Again, the the objection that some people are going to have is that it is somewhat close to the freeway. You do not hear it when you're inside. It's got incredible views. You're getting a great value. You're getting into one of the best school systems around. So if you have more questions about this property, we invite you to come and see it in person. That's going to be your best opportunity. See what it would be like to make this home your very own. Over the next 10 days, the Burns team is going to do what we call our 10-day blitz. We're going to show it this coming weekend. This coming Saturday, we're going to show it in the afternoon in C uh, following the CDC guidelines. We're going to have you wear masks and gloves when you come in. You're going to have to fill out the appropriate paperwork saying that you're not sick and haven't been traveling out of the country. And, and with that, you're going to be able to come in, walk through the home in 10 to 15 minute increments and see what it would be like to make this space your very own. If you are not comfortable coming and seeing it in person, then we're going to do a virtual open house. This coming Sunday, we're going to do a virtual open house where you can watch the deep dive video where we're going to interact with you. We're going to answer questions about the property. We're going to highlight some of the building things that they've done to really make this top quality, the expansion of this property, extending the family room, the three fireplaces. There's just so much to love about this property. In addition to that, you're, you can see it this weekend. Next week, we're going to do a twilight tasting. I believe it's going to be Thursday night where we're going to invite you to test the drive after work. We're going to, again, do uh, 10 to 15 minute showings where you can come in a specific time, where you can come and see this home, see what it would be like watch the sunset in the evening, see what it would be like. And then after 10 days, we're gonna look at offers. This home is a great value. We have confidence that it will sell very quickly with the condition and the shape and everything about it. 
If you have questions about La Cañada, this is a town where I grew up in, this is a town where we, we call home now with our girls. It's a great community, great schools. We'd love to help you. Find the Burns team on any of our social media platforms. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. There's information there about all of that. We're in the middle of October. What does middle of October mean? Well, for our team, it means that we're about, to, this week, we're gonna be closing our 100th sale of the year. What does that mean to you? Well, if you have a passion for a nonprofit, go to our team's website, um, you can go to theburnsteam.com. There we're asking people to go and vote because on our 100th sale, we're going to be giving away our commission, the $56,000 commission for our highest sale uh, this year. We're going to donate that to the nonprofits as voted on by you. So if you go to theburnsteam.com, you can, you can vote for your favorite nonprofit, you can add, or you can vote for some of the nonprofits that are important to our team. In addition to that, if you want to find more information about real estate, you can go to our team's website, www.betterwithburns.com. There you can find an abundance of information. You can see how we've helped more than 85 families with their real estate needs since COVID-19 hit about seven months ago. You can read about how we've helped more than 800 families with their real estate needs over the last decade. We love what we do. We're passionate about what we do. We love selling homes in La Cunada, this community that we believe in. We love selling homes throughout Southern California. This year we've sold in more than 30 different cities. So again, thank you for taking the time to walk through this incredible property at 1945 Hilldale Drive. If you have any other questions, questions about the sound, questions about the construction, questions about the space, this is more than 2,500 square feet in La Cunada with incredible views for under a million 250. Let me say this, it's it's priced at a million two fifty. It's probably gonna go up from that because there's gonna be multiple offers, but it's gonna be a great opportunity for you to come in and then the owners are going to be proud to pass this on to the next owners to carry on the legacy of this fabulous home. So thank you for joining us on this deep dive video here at 1945 Hilldale. We wish you the best in your home search. If, if you aren't working with an agent, the Burns team would love to earn your business. Have a great day. Bye-bye.